Hey, this is Dr. Barry. For the next few minutes, I want to discuss with you an extreme weight loss hack. Now, this hack may not be for everybody, but it's definitely for those people who have either a lot of weight to lose or who have tried multiple diets and didn't lose any weight or lost only a little and then gained it all back. And so if you want to lose a lot of fat off your body while at the same time keeping your muscles keeping your bones strong, keeping your brain working very well, and all your internal organs very healthy, this may be the extreme diet hack for you. So talk about this hack. Like I said, it's not may not be for everybody um, because it's a little bit extreme. But I think that if you have given up on losing fat and you just think that it's not possible for you, this may be the diet hack for you. Now, this diet hack is very safe. There's no danger in doing this. The, the foods that you'll be eating on this diet, you can get from your local grocery store. There's no unique, weird, proprietary ingredients you have to buy. There's no subscription you have to sign up for. You just eat these foods and avoid all other foods and food-like products. Uh, what this diet hack is going to do is going to hack two of your hormones. Actually, more than that, but we're going to just focus on two in this video. The first and most important is your insulin level. Insulin has hundreds of jobs in the human body, but one of its main jobs is to take energy in the form of glucose and, and other sugar molecules and store them as fat. And so anytime your insulin level is very high, you're going to be storing fat, and it's going to be very, very hard for you to burn the fat that you've already stored. And as you can see, immediately the, uh, a chronically high insulin level is going to prevent you from losing any weight. The second hormone that we're going to hack is your growth hormone, your human growth hormone. By keeping it high, this diet hack is going to protect your muscle and actually help you put on new muscle if you'd like to work out and do that. But you're not going to lose muscle because when we talk about losing weight, we don't really mean that. What we mean is I want to lose fat. And so if you'd like to keep your muscle mass and you'd like to keep your bone density and keep everything else right where it is while losing fat, this is probably the diet hack for you. And so what we're doing is we're going uh, to dial down your carbohydrate intake. And so you may have heard of the low-carb diet, the ketogenic diet. Uh, these are basically just turning down the dial of the amount of carbohydrates you eat each day. And in fact, many people have wonderful results with a low-carb diet. They have wonderful results with a ketogenic diet, but for some people, they need to dial down the carbs even more. And that's what this hack is going to teach you to do. You're going to dial down the carbs to as close to zero grams of total carbohydrates a day as you can actually take in. And that's what's going to hack these two hormones that we're talking about today, plus your other hormones, all in the correct or proper direction for you to lose fat, okay? And so we're in the process of keeping of eating this diet. We're also going to keep your blood sugar level very, very low. And so if you are a type 2 diabetic or a pre-diabetic or you're insulin resistant, you may notice that your blood sugars come back down to normal levels eating this diet. If so, there's no extra charge for that. Now let's get into this diet hack and let's talk about what you can eat and then all the things you should avoid. So really there's about five or six things you can eat. And the, the beautiful thing about this diet is it's not a calorie restriction diet. It's not a portion control diet. So of the foods I'm about to name off, you can literally eat as much as you want. Number one, beef. You can eat ground beef. You can eat ribeye. You can eat uh, less expensive cuts of beef. Any beef meat, the meat, uh, any meat from a cow, you can eat as much as you want. Any meat from a sheep, you can eat as much as you want. So lamb chops, uh, any of that kind of stuff, you can eat as much as you want. Any meat from goat, you can eat as much as you want. So any ruminant, but let's just let's just call all those beef for the sake of simplicity in this video. So you can eat all the beef you want. You can eat all the eggs you want. And please don't throw away those yolks. They're full of magical nutrition. If you're going to throw away anything, throw away the white. But eat your eggs. Next is butter. Next is liver. And when I say liver, I mean really all organ meats that come from an animal. And most people, that's, that's liver is what you can get at your local grocery. But if you have access to heart, if you have access to brain, if you have access to other things like that, 
uh, bone marrow, you're welcome to eat as much as you want of those as well. And then finally is bacon. Yes, bacon. You can lose weight eating bacon. And now you can use salt to taste. Do not limit your salt. You can use as much salt as you'd like. You can drink water, either still or sparkling. Either one is fine. You can drink coffee and you can drink tea on this diet. And you can have as much of those as you'd like. What you're not going to ingest is any other foods. And you're going to do this diet hack for at least one month solid. And you can do it for up to three months if you'd like. But if for at least one month to get the full benefits of this, then you can do that. And all these foods I've listed, you can eat as much as you want. The only restriction is, is I want you to eat either one very large meal a day or two very large meals a day. And try to eat these meals within a six-hour window of time. So that for 18 hours of the day, you're not eating anything. And then within the six-hour window, you can eat either one big meal or two big meals. And I don't want you to eat just a small serving to be done. I want you to eat until you're comfortably stuffed with these foods. You're not going to limit your salt, but you are going to eliminate any sweeteners from your diet. You're not going to use any meats that are breaded. You're not going to eat anything else like that. You're going to avoid all carbohydrates in this diet. I think that you'll find that you're going to feel better in just a few days on this diet, keeping in mind that if you do have a sugar or a carbohydrate addiction, you're going to have to withdraw from those things that you're addicted to. And withdrawing from any addiction, it takes anywhere from 7 to 14 days to kind of get over all the symptoms of withdrawal from that addiction. And if you if you Google withdrawal symptoms, you can see what they are, the fatigue, headache, achiness, not feeling good, being sleepy or having trouble sleeping, either one of those. But you may do that if you have a sugar addiction or a carbohydrate addiction. That doesn't mean there's anything in this diet that's hurting you. It just means you're breaking that addiction and that may not be fun for a few days. Make sure that you're eating plenty of salt and also getting plenty of potassium and magnesium. Now, time. So that's it in a nutshell. You're going to eat as, as close to zero grams of carbohydrate as you can every day. You're gonna, But you're not going to calorie restrict. You're not going to portion restrict. You're going to eat until you're comfortably stuffed in your one or two meals a day. So I think you'll find that this diet ha will work when you have failed on many other diets. Now, at the end of the month or at the end of the three months, if you, if you think, man, I feel so much better and I'm getting all these wonderful results, I'd like to do this diet for a little longer. Is that safe? Yes, you can actually do this diet for as long as you'd like. I've been eating this diet for about the, the last 14 months now, and I feel better now at 50 than I felt when I was 35. I've actually lost body fat that I didn't think I'd ever be able to lose. I've lost body fat on this diet, which is called the carnivore diet, that I couldn't even lose on a ketogenic diet. And so for some people like me who are very insulin resistant, you have to turn down that carbohydrate knob to almost zero in order to lose the fat that you never thought you'd be able to lose.